In a recent statement, the U.S. Deputy Secretary of State, Kurt Campbell, announced that Washington is shifting its focus towards recruiting more STEM students from India rather than China. This move reportedly arises from growing security concerns in the U.S. and efforts to limit Chinese nationals' access to sensitive technology. STEM, as you may be aware, stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths. Now, why is this shift significant? Campbell described India as an increasingly important U.S. security partner, highlighting the strategic value of strengthening educational ties with Indian students. Campbell emphasized that while the U.S. remains open to welcoming Chinese students, it would prefer they focus on humanities and social sciences rather than STEM fields. According to reports in the U.S., in the academic year 2022-23, to there were around 290,000 Chinese students enrolled in U.S. universities as compared to roughly 269,000 Indian students. However, experts argue that security tensions between Washington and Beijing have led to unwarranted discrimination against Chinese students. And looking at the participation in STEM courses, there were a total of 122,101 international students participating in science, technology, engineering and mathematics in 2023. According to the Department of U.S. Homeland Security, most students participating in STEM were from India, which accounted for 39.1 percent. Participation of students from China, meanwhile, accounted for 23.7 percent. Now, under the Trump administration, the U.S. introduced the China Initiative, which was aimed at combating Chinese espionage and intellectual property theft. This basically led to severe concerns about racial profiling. Under President Biden, this initiative ended, but Campbell said that U.S. Universi universities still make careful attempts to support Chinese students while safeguarding sensitive areas like laboratories. Campbell underscored the need to recruit more international STEM students, particularly from India, which is an increasingly important U.S. security partner. The move is made in order to address the shortage of Americans studying these fields. And he expressed optimism that increasing the number of Indian students in technology programs could fill this gap. While emphasizing on the importance of maintaining ties with China, Campbell pointed out that China is to blame for any fallout in academic, business or non-profit sector ties. Campbell basically said, and I'm quoting, it really has been China that has made it difficult for the kinds of activities that we would like to see sustaining. This new policy direction has sparked significant discussion within academic and civil communities. Some argue that the strained U.S.-China relations and intensified, secure, intensified scrutiny are stifling scientific collaboration. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.